Hello and welcome. When faced with a logarithmic equation like this, and you know just the basic rules of logarithm, the power rule, the quotient rule, and the product rule, what are you going to do? Now, the first thing you're going to do is to make sure that these two log terms are in the same base. And since x is the unknown, you must change the base of this logarithm on the right hand side from base x to base 5. And this is how you change base. You have 25 and you have log to the new base, which is 5, of 5 divided by log to the new base, which is 5, of the old base, which is x. Now, of course, you must know that log to base 5 of 5 is equal to 1. Log to base anything of the same thing is equal to 1. So, in the numerator, we have 25 times 1, and that, of course, is equal to 25, divided by log to base 5 of x. And, of course, this is still equal to 9 times log to base 5 of x. Now, obviously, the next thing you're going to do is to cross multiply. And when you do that, you have that 9 times log to base 5 of x times log to base 5 of x. That is 9 times log to base 5 of x times log to base 5 of x is equal to 25 times 1, which is 25. And of course, log to base 5 of x times log to base 5 of x is equal to log to base 5 of x squared. And this is equal to 25. Next, we divide both sides of this equation by 9. When we do that, we have that log to base 5 of x squared is equal to 25 over 9. And of course, to get rid of this square, we have to take square root of both sides of the equation. When we do that, we have that log to base 5 of x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 25 over 9. So, log to base 5 of x is equal to plus or minus square root of 25 is 5 and square root of 9 is 3. And of course, when you have a statement like this, it simply means that 5 to the power this is equal to x. So, we have that x is equal to 5 to the power 5 over 3 or x is equal to 5 to the power minus 5 over 3. So we have two values for x, this and that. Now let us check whether the values of x that we calculated satisfy the original equation. Now if we substitute 5 to the power 5 over 3 for x in this equation, we have 9 times log to base 5 of 5 to the power 5 over 3 is equal to 25 times log to base 5 to the power 5 over 3 of 5. Now let us look at this right hand side. Of course, you know that 5 is equal to 5 to the power 5 over 3 to the power 3 over 5. Because to get rid of this bracket, all we have to do is to multiply these two powers. And when we multiply 5 over 3 by its reciprocal, which is 3 over 5, we get 1. And 5 to the power 1 is equal to 5. So now what we are going to do is that we are going to replace this 5 with 5 to the power 5 over 3 to the power 3 over 5. So when we do that, we have... 9 times log to base 5 of 5 to the power 5 over 3 is equal to 25 times log to base 5 
to the power 5 over 3 of 5 to the power 5 over 3 to the power 3 over 5. Now we are going to apply the power law to both sides of this equation. That is the law that says that when we have log a to the power b, that this is the same as b times log a. That is, this exponent can come to the front to become a multiplier. So we can multiply with this and we can multiply with that. When we do that, we have 5 over 3 times 9 times log to this 5 of 5 is equal to 3 over 5 times 25 times log to base 5 to power 5 over 3 of 5 to power 5 over 3. And of course, we know that log to base 5 of 5 is equal to 1. And we also know that log to base 5 to power 5 over 3 of 5 to power 5 over 3 is also 1. So here, on the left-hand side, we have 5 over 3 times 9. And this is equal to 3 over 5 times 25. 3 into itself is 1 and into 9 is 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 into itself is 1 and into 25 is 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So we have that 15 is equal to 15. Hence, this value of x satisfies the original equation. Now, the same thing happens with this value of x. The only difference is that this is going to be minus 15 is equal to minus 15. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.